Praising, praising, praising my brothers and sisters. This is Sister Judy coming back to you. Lord, we thank you for everything that you're doing. We just thank you and we are just loving you. As we walk in your obedience and what you tell us to do, that's what we will do. I give you all the praise and I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, I say amen and amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord has been nudging me to give this dream. It's a short prior vision I have. So let me just say what this prior vision was all about. As I was praying, I have this vision that I was walking in the wilderness. As I was walking in the wilderness, there was a sister on my right side. She was on my right hand side alongside me. I did not know who this sister was, but I know we both was walking together in the wilderness. Now I know this part of the wilderness very, very good because it's a journey I take. Like when I was a young, a young child with my father, we would go to way in the wilderness to go to the farm or to do certain things. But there's a, a certain part here in this wilderness that when I reach there, I always stop to talk to the Lord Jesus. So I was taking the sister alongside me to reach our destination. Now, as I was traveling with this sister, I could see in my rear view that there was like a screen where I'm now seeing another sister. But this sister was driving and she was driving because she wanted to catch up with myself and the other sister that was walking alongside me. But as that sister behind was trying to catch up with us in the car, I know that there is an area the car is about to hit. It was more like she was going to go under a bridge. But underneath there is very tricky. Because if you go too much at the left, you can go over a precipice. And if you go too much to the right, you can also go over a precipice. So now I had to find a way to let her know she must keep in the center, not to go too much to the right or too much to the left. Somehow in the vision, I got to her and I told her. So as she was coming out from underneath that bridge area, because now I show her how to come out, she was coming out. So I said to her, as soon as you are going to come out, there is going to be something else that I need to tell her. But before I could say that to her, the way she answered, as if she's trying to say, I didn't have to show her how to come out from underneath the bridge. She knew how to come out, which in the vision I knew it was not through. So... I did not tell her that there is also a tricky part once she comes out from underneath the bridge. Because right there, as if the Lord is trying to say to me, people does not even want to give thanks. They don't even want to say thank you for showing me the danger. So I did not show her the danger that is awaiting her once she came out from underneath that tricky area so i continue now to walk with the other sister that was on my right hand side because we both was in the wilderness now because i'm trying now to take her to where i know the lord is always waiting on me and i i woke from that vision from that prior vision so I'm looking at it that there's a lot of people that God wants to help. But because of who God is going to use to help them, it's not who they are looking for or what they are looking at. They are judging things by the natural eyes. 
It's the same way when Jesus came, the Pharisees would not accept him because what they were looking for in the kingship, it's not what they saw when he came. And a whole lot of people miss out because they were looking for something that is not what it is. So this is where I'm going to leave this prior vision. God bless you all, my brothers and sister. God keep you. I close this with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I close it with the ring of Jesus Christ. I hope we find what we are searching for. And it's sometime, it's not the package that we expect it to come in. It's going to come in. So God bless you all again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say amen and amen and amen.